Good day, ladies and gentlemen, this is Vance Logic, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. Here we are in the Temple of Earth, and yeah, I'm doing some, like, uh, I'm doing some gold grinding right now. You guys, as I told you guys before, this dragon is plenty freaking, uh, it is incredible for trying to get a bunch of money. And trust me, I'm going to be needing a lot of money for the, for the side thing I have going, or for the side thing I have in mind right now. Anyway, so yeah, right now we're just fighting this, and of course I have no healer because I want to show off this freaking thing! I want to show off Lloyd's Mystic Art. Because you need the uh, Material Blades equipped, you need the Eternal Swordsman, it's title on you, Eternal Swordsman. There it is, buddies. By the way, it's a better, like, stat enhancing one. And yes, Lloyd is almost... Lo Lloyd is almost in red health, real, I don't care if you are or not. I also disabled his healing art so that way he doesn't heal Lloyd. Because I want to show this off. Hopefully I even remember this. Come on, kick my ass, buddy. Come on, go ahead. Okay, you guys are kicking his ass now. You choose to do now. You know what, screw it. Yeah, I'm just going to keep fighting too. There you go, buddy. This is plenty good for like trying to work on your combos too. Yeah, there we go. I can't remember how to activate it. Oh, crap. I'll probably check it up on it right now, but while we're here, I may as well check up on these guys. Because I think we talked to the guy in uh, Altessa's house. I can't remember if I actually showed that off, but now we have all the gnomelets here. And they'll move out of the way right here. And guess what they were guarding this whole time? A devil's arm! Oh yeah, what the hell were they doing guarding this in the first place? And now we have the gates of hell. This is Sheena's devil's arm. So, yep, we're getting one step closer to actually getting to that side quest and stuff. And hang on real quick, guys. Alright, guys, I'm back, and I got all the money I need, but hopefully I can actually show off Falcon's Crest this time. The Mystic Art that I got Lloyd, and hopefully... Damn it, I ended up behind him. Hey, what up, buddy? Come on. Come on, buddy. Kick my ass. There you go. Keep, keep kicking it. There you go. Come on. I have to freaking push... Come on! Come on! I think I have to do this. I can't do that. I can't do it against this guy. I don't know why. Or not. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and do that too. Alright, good enough. Holy crap, everyone's in red health. Okay. Alright, screw that too then. I'll show it off some other time. Screw it, I got the money I need. And yes, let's get out of here and actually go on with this whole side stuff thing going on. Because I think I might take one or two parts with this. Not entirely sure. This could take a lot longer than I thought, than I think. Anyway, now that I got the money, let's head back into Silverons. Because guess how much money we actually do need for this. I counted it up. Hopefully I even counted it up right. Guess how much money you're going to need in order to do what I have in mind. 458,500 gold. That's four five eight comma five zero zero gold. Yes. I don't know how they expect you to have that much, even by this point, unless like you really don't spend at all, <laughs> like any gold whatsoever on items. Like you pretty much mooch off of everything. So anyway, I am gonna be cutting out a lot of this because you guys don't want to see me walking in and out, in and out, in and out. Because yes, that'll just be incredibly tedious, my good sirs. And honestly, nobody wants to watch that. And I'm trying to, eh, it, 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 screw you too. So here we are, making our way back into the destroyed city of Lewin. And that's out of the question right there. <laughs> All right, so there should be someone standing out here. I think it was Pietro. Because I think he was the one who had the idea about, like, restoring Lewin back to, like, its former self. We gotta talk to someone, I remember that. Question is, I can't remember where. Where exactly, anyway. Hopefully we can even do it right now, because I know I've done this plenty of times before where it, I didn't even need to, uh, where I did this, like, really late into the game. Might be in, uh, maybe in Asgard or something. Gotta talk to somebody. And where am I even going anymore? Hey, what up, Asgard? Hey, let me let me fly into you. You know what? There you go. 
I'm just gonna be looking around. Hopefully I find the person that I have to talk to. Okay, I think we have to be here in Haima to talk to this guy. When I've gained a little more strength, I intend to travel to Luwin. I swear I'll restore Luwin to the bustling city it once was. Oh, we will do that, my buddies. And more. Mwahaha. <laughs> and yeah, we got the money. We gotta use it. Hey, there he is. What up, Pietro? I didn't realize it was this bad, but I won't give up. I swear I will build this city for those who were killed as well. But in order to accomplish that, I need both people and money. Alright, so this is the Lewin Reconstruction Fund side quest thing in my bobber. And yes, you gotta donate a specific amount, walk in, walk out, then walk back in, and yes, stuff will happen. So for the first time, you're gonna have to donate 5,000 gold. Or we'll help rebuild this city too. Oh, I could. Can't take money from you. This money should be used for your journey of world regeneration. Trust me, dude, we have a lot of it. Can't save the world if we can't even save a town, can we? We want to help everyone in need. Lloyd, thank you very much. I'll make good use of it. Damn right you will. So there's 5,000. And right now we just donated 12,000. And now, right now, we're going to be, uh... Have to freaking donate 21,500. There you go, buddy. Make good use of it. You better make damn good use of this shit. Alright. Now we got something. The City of Rebirth. No, it's not really much of a city when it's still freaking destroyed. Hey, there's people. What do you think? A lot better, huh? Yeah, sure. Why not? So, little by little, we're able to we're able to begin restoring this city. We owe it to your donations. Damn right. And now we got to donate fifteen thousand next, I believe. I'm reading it correctly. Yes, we do. Fifteen thousand. So yeah, this is I think the maximum you can donate, and then like it'll move you on to the next phase. And there's a lot of phases in this. I just donated 15,000, now we gotta donate 20,000. Hey, what up, buddy? Yeah, yeah, you already said that the last time. So, 20,000. Alright. And hopefully that wasn't 200,000. <laughs> oh, God, I have trouble with numbers, which is ironic, because I'm a computer scientist of sorts. And yeah, that's not very fun. Not fun at all. Uh, hey, a dog! Hey, let's get it named. Got my uncle Colette. Where are you at? So yeah, now a dog's here, and yeah, that's what happens after 20,000 gold. All that for a dog. And a couple more people. Alright, cool. Alright, so we are making a bit of an effect. So, 25... 25... 25,000 this time. And don't worry, like, if you guys couldn't catch all of this, I will put, like, a list at the end of it. Hell, I might even be put it, posting it along with this. I don't know how I'm gonna go about editing this, but, eh, what else? Whatever. So, 25,000. Hey, another guy, person, thingamabobber. So, next up, we got to donate 35,000. Alright, there you go, buddy. Take it, take it. I do not want this tainted money. It's tainted? I don't know. Uh, what the hell was that from? I was trying to remember. I know it was this, like, fat lady off, like, some reality show. Hey, look at that. Now our money's making a difference. Hell yes. Finally able to begin work in all districts. I'll keep working hard to rebuild this city. And there's a child there. Alright, child labor. See, I knew it worked in our favor. Nah, I'm kidding. So now we gotta donate 40,000. Walk out and then walk back in. And from what I'm seeing, we gotta do... Uh... Six more donations. <laughs> Alright, look at this. We built enough so basic everyday functions are now possible. And we're not there yet. I'll do my best to restore the city to its original beauty. Alright, and how much did I donate in the last... I think it was 40,000. No, we gotta donate 45,000. Yes, take it. Take it hard. Take that money, shove it up your ass. I don't care. Do whatever you want with it, as long as it gets this city rebuilt. <laughs> shove it up your ass. <laughs> Alright, look at that. The bridges are fixed. Hey, buddy. City functions are almost completely restored. We just have a little more to go. And next up is 50,000. There you go, Tip. There you go, buddy. Take it. Take it. Alright, five more donations, I think. Or four. Something like that. I may have miscounted. Hell, I might even be out of money by now. Oh, look at that. So I donated 15. We've done it. We finally rebuilt Lewin. This is incredible. We owe it to you. Thank you very much. Actually, I've talked with the people of the city, and we've made a plan to develop the city further to serve as a sign of resistance. Of course, only if we had a budget for it. I hear ya, buddy. I hear ya. Take it, and 
Do whatever you like with it. 75000 Again, thank you so much. We'll make good use of this money. Take it hard. <laughs> okay, I'm done. All right, four more. Four more. Take it. Take it. I'm done. <laughs> Damn. Look at this. This is becoming fancy. Holy crap. It's proceeding smoothly. You just have a bit more to go. There you go, buddy. 100000 You better. Oh, yeah. This better be freaking worth it in the end. Seriously, I'm not wasting all this money, which I could be spending on myself. Yeah, no. So, Lou and expansion project is pretty smoothly. We just a bit more to go. All right, and with this one, yeah, not that much. Just five thousand. All right. Or at least if I donated correctly, if I messed up somewhere along the line, well, crap. If I messed up, shit, I'm, I'm gonna be a little pissed. All right, and then we just gotta donate five thousand two more times. Hopefully, if I did not screw this up, because, yeah, I may have read this whole thing incorrectly. And I think one more time ought to do it. Come on, buddies. Come on. I'm wasting people's time by doing this. But, yeah, this is actually somewhat continuitous for Tales of Symphonia 2, but not really, because, yeah, you can leave this shithole behind, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't affect anything. And with that, I think we've done it. Maybe. Possibly. Thank you so much, everyone. Thanks to you, Lewin has completely changed, and I feel I've been able to repay my debt to this city. Good job, Pietro. No, please say that to the people of this city. It was thanks to the strength of these people that we were able to rebuild and expand Lewin. As soon as I finish my remaining duties, I intend to go on a journey. I want to save all those that are suffering at the hands of the designs, even though the designs are all pretty much eliminated. Ah ha 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 ha! Ah ha ha, bitches! So anyway, if you were wondering what those last 5,000 gold actually contributed to, well, you see the statue right here. Shina Fujibayashi, a hero who saved the people from designs. So yeah, those last 5,000 were just for like some statues all over the place. And I think there's one... Yeah, look at me. Yeah! How do you like that? The hero Lloyd Irving, who devoted himself to the restoration of the city. <laughs> With money. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You look somewhat familiar, but eh, I don't know. Probably just me. What the hell? Hey! I think... Oh, sir, you have good taste. What? Huh? Yeah, now I'll sell this book for only 3,000 gold. Well, you don't want to buy it. Ah... Uh, uh, this is 3,000 gold? You can't make a sea with a boat like this. It's called a houseboat. They're popular in Azul right now. Didn't see anything like that in Azul. But, uh, I mean, it's about to become popular. How about it? It's for your future dream house. For my future, huh? So home away from home, a place where you get all lovey-dovey with a certain girl. Come on, buy it. Eh, yeah, sure, why not. I got the money, screw it. And, contract, we better read it. Please tell me we read it. And he just laughed, ah, oh, God. I knew he was trying to trick you. What, what is it? Look at this, it says it's a lease. You just rented this boat for 3,000 gold from a person named Erfried. What? Isn't Everett the one Lila asked us to give her letter to? Hey, that one lady earlier in the Let's Play that we don't really give a damn about anymore. Well, it can't be. That was Everett? Damn it, when I see him next time, I'll... Yeah, no, you won't. Oh, now we got a shitty house. Hey, what up? Didn't even have anything in it. Ah, screw this. And where's that other statue we contributed to? I think it's either Rain, Genus, or Colette. One of those. Hey, there it is. It's Rain. What up? Rain Sage, the wise teacher who supported the hearts of the people. Alright. You gotta love it. Holy crap, this is taking 20 minutes. So I'm gonna be cutting out a bit of it. Oh boy. So he mentioned something about Azul. You know what, let's go back there. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a freaking minute. How could I have forgotten about this? Wait, this is the inn. Because once you fully rebuilt Luin at a certain point, I think it's right before the 500 or the 5,000 gold donations, the item shop is back. The weapons, and yes, they have the joke weapons of this game. They all cost 40,000 gold, and they're like the second strongest weapons in this entire game. It's kind of funny. So yeah, there's Paper Fan for Lloyd. There's the Tambourines for Colette, though they're weaker than the one she has right now. Phantasmagoria for Genus. Deck Brush for uh, Rain. Money bags for Sheena, and I think that actually does affect like the gold you get in battle. Toy dagger for Zelos, though it's weaker. Baseball bat for him too. 
Bottom of the ninth, bases loaded, two men out. It's all up to you. No, it's not. And a Bowhammer, Bowhammer DX for uh, Persea. And Glory Art, Glory Arts for Pre Regal. Yeah. Receiving this powerful weapon is the ultimate honor. Huh. That's not a... That's not a joke weapon at all. So yeah, I think they have like a lot better stuff than the last time. Either that or like the same stat crap that they did with the customization. I may be wrong. Alright, now to do more shit. Lots more shit. And could I curse any more? Yes, I can, but I choose not to. Ha 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 ha. Alright, onward to Azul. What up, Azul? I'm gonna land in you. Ha! Ah! Damn, it's been a while since we've been here. Yeah, we're tying up some somewhat loose ends somewhat. Hey, look at that. It's that one lady. Clara. Oh, yeah, it was Clara. It's not what you think. Professor, please. All right. Let us heal her with the power of white screen. <laughs> All right. Clara, she's back. Finally returned to my original form. Thank goodness, I'm so glad. What? Why did the monster turn into a human? Are you stupid? She was a human to begin with, but she was turned into a monster by the designs. How can I possibly thank you? I only have a vague memory when I was a monster. But I still remember that you saved Palma Costa. Nah, it's destroyed and it's gone. Please show the people of Palma Costa that you are well as soon as possible, even though it's destroyed to hell and back. Ha <laughs> ha Damn, the giant tree is evil. Anyway, I don't know what else to do, because I got a somewhat of a big list right now and I'm looking it over well actually let's go continuing with the devil devil's arms hunts cuz yeah I kinda got sidetracked with this whole uh, hunting for money and greedy bastardliness and all that other good stuff so yeah I think somewhere over here maybe if I'm even looking at the map correctly no I am not yep I just gotta make my way back to the tree of desert which is where we actually ha do have to go for one of the Devil's Arms, believe it or not. I'm not just going there just to teleport to Teteola. And I just went full circle. What the hell did I even do that in the first place? So where's uh, Triet at? I know it's somewhere around here, buddies. Don't try to hide it from me. It was never, it was a, it was never a mirage to begin with. There we go. There is a mini game you could do right here, but honestly, just talk to this guy. It's pretty much a memory game, but. Yeah, not worth it in my opinion. So what up? A giant worm-like monster appeared in the tree of desert and was attacking travelers. If you're going to going through the desert, you should be careful. Nah, I won't. Screw that. Because if you talk to this guy right here, there was once a priest of the Church of Martell who found a cursed sword, emitting a terrible evil aura in the tree at ruins. He tried to cross the desert in order to seal it away, but he was attacked and eaten by a giant monster. It's a bit of a tall tale, though. Yeah, no it's not. Let's go hunt that guy down. Or let's go hunt that monster down. And if I'm remembering correctly, we're definitely going to be needing Genus for this. And yes, hopefully using nothing but water spells. And I better put uh, Regal's healing uh, arts back on. Because yes, no need for the freaking... Uh, no need for the, fa for the Mystic Art. Or at least not immediately, anyway. Anyway, if you go over here, there should be a Ring of Light. Oh yeah, damn right it's huge. And it's getting its info. It has quite a bit of health. Holy crap, Regal's going to freaking die. There you go, buddy. Holy crap, he's gonna die. And it's gone. Where'd it go? There it is, buddies. Yeah, there you go, buddy. And he's going back down into the freaking ground. God damn it. Hey, 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 hey. Stay away from the healer. The pseudo healer. Stay away from him. Come on, buddy. I mean, at least this time I can actually see its health. It has no TP, so yeah. And holy crap, Genus is going to freaking die. Oh, he's dead. Ha! Yeah, may as well get him the freaking experience. There you go, buddy. Looks like another one of the Devil's Arms. Why is it here in Silveron? Yeah, there's a couple in Silveron too, so don't think it was just in Teteola. And he drops an Aldivite, so yeah, it's very good, very good indeed. Alright, now to go back into Teteola for the remainder of the Devil's Arms, because I think there's like one or two more that we can actually get. And then we come back here to Silveron for the very last one. 
So, next up, we're going to be heading back into the Galrakia Forest. It's like one of the earliest Devil's Arms that we actually saw, so yeah. We could have gotten this one much sooner, but screw that. And that's not where we want to go. Where are we going to go? Curse this map, it's in my face! It's all over my face, seriously. There's, here's the first entrance to the Galrakia Forest. And over here's the other one. Alright. Well, I think I already unveiled it, so I don't need the sorcery function again. So we're just going to be heading back over here, and let's grab it. Because for this one, you actually need everyone in your party in order for it to even be here. If you come back here, like, even when this is unveiled, yeah, it's not going to be here. And here's Fafnir. Alright. Hey, buddy! You've already found some Devil's Arms. Wonderful. Bishin, is it okay for you to come here? I'm sorry, I was worried about you. My body feels a little better when I'm not carrying the devil's arms. Ugh. Perseo, what's wrong? My head, it hurts. Maybe you're sick. No, but I'm close to the devil's arms. It caused by the devil's arms? Yeah, yeah, why not? Lloyd, we already said we'd do it. I'm alright, thank you for your concern. Perseo, right? Please don't exert yourself. You too, Abyssian. Thanks, yes, thank you. Alright, now we just gotta go get one more, and it's an Altamira. Holy crap, I'm getting caught in walls that aren't even there. So I'll see you guys back in Altamira. Alright, here we are in Altamira, and what you want to do is head into the inn and rest in for the night. And you gotta choose to actually go out at night. So it's I'm into your reservation, will you be going out tonight? Of course, buddy! So now we're going to be resting up, and I think this is one, the only place where it goes from day to night and you can actually explore it at night. So yeah, President's Job. Wow, so Regal's a company president, and this is long overdue. If you're the president of Lezzarano, then we must have met before. I'm trying to pretend you didn't know me. I am a criminal, I did not want to cause difficulty for Lezzarano. I'm sorry. Wow, a company president, you're really important. By the way, what's a president exactly? What are you talking about? A president's a president. He's important. Yeah, so what does he do? Uh, oh, well, come on, tell me, what does he do? I just remember to have something to do. I have something to talk to Colette about. <laughs> what? Hey, come on, why won't you tell me? It would seem few people actually know what my job is. <laughs> ah, poor Regal. People don't know him very well. And then we want to talk to this guy who will take us to the casino and theater. Hooray! Gambling! I'm not entirely sure, but I think we could play some uh, gambling games. I've never really bothered to check because I've never explored Altamira. At least very intimately, anyway. There's a dog right here we could talk to Colette with. Let's get that right now, even though I stopped doing that a long time ago. Jeez, I really neglect a lot of things. Kenny. Alright. What up, buddy? What am I gonna do? What's wrong? Oh, it's a sad, sad tale. I lost my entire fortune at the casino over there. Isn't that your own fault? Don't say sad things like that. Hmm? Hey, do you like kendamas? Yeah. Oh, what a coincidence. You see, I have a rare kendama on me. I'll settle it to you for 1,000 gold. What? Okay. Alright, come again. So it's a devil's arm. Oh, how coincidental. And we get disaster. Genus's devil arm. See, I told you this was a cool item. Ever since I got this thing, my luck plummeted to the gutter. Uh, I mean, anyway, it's really amazing. Bye now. Huh. He went into the casino. I guess he doesn't learn. Hey, we saw you not, not too long ago, buddy. What are you doing here, Bishin? I've got some information about the Devil's Arms. You know where the next piece is? No, I heard that the Devil's Arms sometimes choose a particular person, transforms into a magic swordsman, and enslaves them for life. I remember Persean grew worried. Does that mean the Devil's Arms have chosen me? No, I won't allow something like that to happen. Yeah, don't worry, Persea. It's only a legend. As long as you don't hear whispers from the items, I think you'll be fine. Persea, do you hear anything? No. That's good. The rest of you, please be careful as well. The voice of the items. 
Oh crap, so I think we've gotten all the Devil's Arms that we can get, possibly get up to this point. So we got uh, Lloyd's Nebulum, the very first one of course. We got the Gates of Hell, Apocalypse for Regal, Disaster for Genus, Diabolus for Persea, Evil Eye for Colette, and the Soul Eater for Zelos. All that's left is uh, all that's left is Rain's Devil Arm, and now we're going to be able to get that. But first, we got to head back to Flanor.